Hi there, I'm John from cncroi.com and today we're going to do some wine bottle engraving. I get a lot of questions regarding the difference between sandblasting and laser engraving when it comes to wine bottles specifically because we do a lot of wine bottles for a lot of different applications. Now we have an industrial sandblaster here in the shop but I far prefer to use our laser to do the work. And the reason for that is that you get a very consistent depth. Uh, with a sandblaster, what you're doing is throwing sand on the surface and basically wearing it out to create depth. With a laser, it's a little bit different. You're not throwing anything onto the glass. What you're doing is just heating the glass and sh micro shattering it. And we do that over the entire surface, as you can see. The advantage with a laser is that we don't end up with that, you know, that underspray. We basically have a sandblasting mask and what happens is sometimes those little particles of sand or grit go underneath the mask. So when you have something that's very sharp and precise, sometimes you end up with a blowout which basically means it just gets rounded or something like that. You don't notice until the end of the whole production that you've done it. The other disadvantage to sandblasting is that it, you can't see the result until everything is done. So you might do a, a whole production run of something and then you find out well, that design didn't work out too well. At least with lasers, one bottle here in this case is done at a time. And if there are any other problems that we could see, we could adapt real time and say, okay, well, the next bottle will change the design a little bit this way, and then we'll get the perfect result we want. So what we'll do now, we'll take a look at our industrial laser making one layer of this.
you'll notice on this glass that I seem to have two different contrasts. And the reason for that is this one here is a lot deeper than this. This is just on the very top surface where I shattered the glass using the laser. And this one here I just kept going over and over and over and over again until I achieved this result. Now it's a little bit hard to see on the camera here, but this is a roughly half a millimeter deep and this is basically nothing. So what we'll do now, we'll take a look at our industrial laser making the secondary pass uh, of the far deeper engraving on the wine bottle.
disadvantages of using a laser to do uh, engraving onto glass is that it has to be flat. Because over we have an overhead gantry, so basically you put the bottle like this, and the laser goes over it this way and does the engraving. Now if this was a rounded object, we maybe have a little bit of tolerance where we do the laser engraving, but that's where sandblasting really excels. Because the surface doesn't need to be even, it doesn't need to be straight, it doesn't need anything really, it's just you're throwing sand uh, or grit onto the surface of the material. So like round objects, um, we can do the circumference with the laser, but if you start saying, well I want something that covers the whole top area of it, uh, that's definitely something better for the sandblaster, and that's why we have an industrial sandblaster here in the shop. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that it becomes a diminishing return sort of thing. Uh, the cost of doing this, for instance, is about a tenth of doing this. Now with a sandblaster, right away you got the depth, which is nice, but you also have less resolution. So every, every process, every tool here in the shop has a plus and a minus. So what I try to do here in the shop is put as many pluses in your favor, uh, whether that's budget, volume, material, uh, resolution, and then try to have as few minuses as possible during the whole production run. And that's something that's nice about the shop that I have now here, because we have a variety of different equipment, we're able to do that. Uh, so let's say you have a, I don't know, for instance here we have a, a coaster, and it's anodized aluminum. Let's say you want it out of wood. Well, we have a CNC router that we could use to make it out of wood as well. Um, depends on the shape and depends on the design. So if you're looking for custom engraving of cylindrical items, including glass, contact me at cncroi.com.